Hey there YouTube and welcome to Altcoin Picks. Today we are doing our coin analysis on Arcana, which is in pre-ICO right now and open to US investors. I know all of you just want to see these ICOs which you are able to invest in. This is one of them. This one has to do with augmented reality, which is amazing and awesome new tech. Before we begin though, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and let's get started. So of course, my coin analysis. As you can see, I am evolving this and I'm still deciding the best way to present the information to you. Today, we have what is Arcana, coin purpose, the team, the market cap, competition and partners, goals, which is pretty much the roadmap of the project, and then a star rating between one and 10, where I will list the pros and cons and give you a quick summary of why I believe it received this rating. So what is Arcana? It is an augmented reality ecosystem that unites the physical and virtual world while creating multimedia content in real world locations going much further than a simple overlay. The Arcana ecosystem aims to become a complete scaled new world with virtual assets and the biggest being digital land. They're creating an ecosystem in which people are able to pay for the energy that they use with cryptocurrency. So what about the Arcana token? This allows you to have access to the ecosystem as an active user or developer. You can, you can also partake in the royalties payment program and it guarantees ownership of digital assets and your ability to claim revenue from their use. Also, they're getting the right to participate in the voting process and the development of the system and the evaluation of content creation. And then, of course, holders will be able to manage content and have access to the marketplace, land auctions, stock exchange, advertising hubs, and much, much more. Now let's talk about their team. I'm actually going to change the way that I do this part of the analysis. I will show how many stars, superstars, and master stars that each team has, and I will present it in the middle as I do here. Master star is just like the multi-star. It just means they have over 20 years of experience in their field, therefore making them somewhat of a master. Also, I'm only going to talk about what I believe are the top three members of the project. Also with this team, it's actually fairly unique because they are located in Russia and I don't have much experience with Russian companies. So it's hard for me to actually judge based off of their experience and the companies that they worked for. Therefore, as you can see, they have zero stars, superstars and master stars on their team. Their advisors actually do have one of each. Also, the platform is being developed by the team at Pilgrim XXI, which has been around since 2015 and has also launched the world's first augmented reality parks with a total of eight parks in six countries. So my top three members, first, Laia, I believe that's his name, is the project leader and founder of Arcana. He's a pioneer in augmented reality in Russia. He's been innovating in the market for the last 15 years. Then we have Diana, she is the former CEO and co-founder of Arcana, also has been in the industry for the last 12 years. And then our third one is Alexander. His last name, way too hard to pronounce. He's the head of technology and development at Arcana, he has been in the industry in augmented reality and virtual reality and mobile applications for the last five years. Now for their advisors, we have Leibov. I think that's how you say her name. She specializes in venture capital and business strategy development. She is getting her master star because she has over 20 years of experience in marketing and she's getting her superstar because she's been featured as Russia's top 10 most influential woman in IT as well as top five in virtual commerce. Next, we have George. He gets his star because he's the CEO and founder of Lampix, which is an AR platform. He's the chairman of board of advisors of Gatecoin, and he's also been the advisor to First Blood, which I've talked about a long time ago in other videos. He sold his successful company, Boston Technologies, in 2014, and Boston's technology was the number one fastest growing company in Boston in 2011. Next, we have their market cap. We have a hard cap of 50 million, which I'm actually... Of course, the graph says 135 Ether, which is 100 and like, what, 135 million. I'm assuming this was put on the white paper when Ether was cheaper. So I'm still going with the 50 million hard cap. We have 18 million circulating supply, 135 million total supply. And of course, as the diagram says, the total supply will depend on the ICO results, meaning if they don't hit that number, I'm assuming they'll burn the other tokens. So for their bonus, we have the pre-sale and pre-ICO. You got a 15, 20, 25, and 30% max. And the token sale, it starts at 10% and it decreases 1% each day. And then no bonus at all for the last 20 days. And the biggest part, which I know you guys want to hear, US investors can participate. This is on their white paper and this is what I'm going off of. 
Next, we have their competition. We have Vibe Hub, Reality Clash, Content Coin, Decentraland, Capacity, and then Lampix. All of them are doing different things. Some of them don't really relate directly to Arcana, but they're all pretty much in the same space. After that, we have Partners. We have Wings, which is a decentralized platform for creation, participation, and management of DAOs. It's essentially a crowdfunding platform. Also, we have Bancor. It's a solution to cryptocurrency liquidity. And as you can see, there's a lot more. Those are just the two main ones, in my opinion. Now let's go to their goals. Of course, we're going to the roadmap on their website. We have quarter one of 2018. They're going to launch a marketplace with a primary goal to monetize the Arcana token. After that, we have Q2. It's going to launch the prototype and pretty much motivate users to use the software to earn tokens and also launch their partner's project. Q3 launch the AR grid tech prototype testing of remote positioning tools. And then Q4 run the beta for the augmented reality viewer with basic functionality. 2019, they have AR grid system implementation in the 10th largest metropolitan area of the planet. And digital lands will be put on sale. And then 2020, geo-referenced AR territories will expand to 40,000 kilometers. So as you can see, they have a plan all the way to 2020. I'm sure 2019 and 2020 later on will be updated and more specific but it's nice to see they at least have a direction that they want to go for the next two years so now we have their stars which i have combined with the pros and cons because i've noticed i've usually just been rehashing those when i'm talking about the stars so they are getting a seven out of ten from me their pros augmented reality is one of the fastest growing technologies they have their previous success with pilgrim xxi platform that use augmented reality in tourism they have a unique idea where participants in the ICOs will be able to purchase a new cryptographic asset, which is digital land. And just using the whole virtual world and real world combination, it's pretty unique. The roadmap goes all the way to 2020, shows that they have a plan for the next few years. And then of course, US investors can join. Their cons though, augmented reality is still super new and super unsure of the future. And then their team, it's not the best team that you could see, but I will give them credit because Pilgrim for the last five years has been successful. They have a pretty competitive market as you saw on the slide above and the project may actually be too ambitious. I know we have yet to see there. And then they don't really have strong partnerships with any big companies like Microsoft, Google, or Facebook yet. If they were to get something like that though, who knows? The business approach is not directly aimed. And then finally, their business approach is not directly aimed at gaming, which has been a huge part of augmented reality. Microsoft has been getting into it, Google. I mean, check how successful Pokemon Go was. It's just an example of what augmented reality can actually do. So to basically summarize this up, they could be a super successful company based off of their previous success and if they're able to get a big partnership. If so, then this company could be huge. They need that partnership though. That's that's my opinion. And if this happens, then watch out. That's my video for Arcana. Let me know what you think. If you plan on investing, US investors are allowed according to their white paper. Don't forget to smash that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time.